It is Thursday, June 28th, 2018, 1 27 p.m. <clears throat> 25 degrees outside, it feels like 31. And um, I don't know, I was walking and it's like, it was definitely hot, but there's a very cold breeze out. So overall, I'd say it's not really that warm outside, um, which kind of sucks. I really wish it was just warm. Like, I don't understand where this cold breeze is coming from and it's actually really annoying. But anyway, yesterday, Carla's procedure ended up taking about an hour and she woke up and she the sedation didn't really do anything. She felt fine. Um, completely normal, so we ended up hanging out. Uh, we went to get sushi for the first time in a month and a half-ish, and it was really good. Um, I didn't overeat as much as I usually do, which was nice. <coughs> um, afterwards, we watched some Seinfeld for a bit, and then I went to go raid. Uh, we got Mythic Argus to the third phase again. We didn't do any, pro we didn't progress at all. Um, so, that's sucked, but hopefully today we can kind of get some progression going. Today, I um, have been playing some of the beta again, trying to get through Zoldazar, which is the most intimidating and most annoying zone because literally all the quests start from the middle, so my map is literally just like 14 quests in the middle, all branching out in different directions, and I don't know what the prereqs prereq are for certain quest lines, I don't know which quest lines go where, it's all clumped up, and it, I could have done a better job kind of making that map, so um, really not looking forward to doing this, but uh, kind of getting figured out what needs to get done in Zoldazar. <laughs> I'm about 117 and a half now, so I need to get two and a half levels out of this zone, which sucks. So, um, yeah, but doing that, I might work on the options video for WoW. Um, and, and I remember today in the shower that I was working on a video of five ways to be a better WoW player, but I don't know if I have that saved, so hopefully I can find that again um, and maybe work on that. Um, I didn't play Sniper Elite yesterday, I might play that today. Um, Again, doing the discovery queue for more uh, money in my Steam wallet. I think all the cards are selling now for two cents. Uh, wouldn't be surprised to get down to one. So uh, per day, I'm getting about a, the last couple of days. I'm getting six cents per day in my wallet, um, and I'll probably go down to three cents soon before the sale's over. So um, I don't know how much more money I'll have in, in there, but um, I think I'm at like seven eighteen right now. So if anything, maybe seven. I don't know if 7.50 is possible, but around 7.30 or so. I don't know. We'll see. Um, but anyway, so um, Carl and I st might still hang out today. I don't think so, though. Um, we're kind of just watching podcasts today. I've been watching. Still catching up on so many. Um, I said I'm going to catch up on my YouTube video stuff and then just go ham on the music. Oh, I sneezed earlier before I started this video. That's why I'm all sniffly. Um, I think we'll ham on the music, try to catch up on all of that. I think I have to listen like six albums or something. I'm just gonna, I think I'm just gonna start at 10 and every day now I'm just gonna add another album just to kind of make up for all the time I haven't been listening to music. Uh, which is gonna be brutal when I actually do listen to music, but whatever. Um, other than that, the only thing I want to talk about today um, is um, those are two things. Uh, the first is that I kind of want to get a new phone. Um, actually, another thing is, I'll talk about, okay, anyway. So uh, the first is I kind of, I kind of want to get a new phone, but I don't know if I'll be able to afford one. Um, so obviously I don't have a job now. Um, I may or may not have a part-time job when school starts, depending on if I can get on second, second career or not. Um, but either way, I think it's not really fiscally responsible for me to buy a phone, a new phone. Um, and I probably want to get like, a, like probably the newer models, probably like an iPhone. <sighs> the lowest an iPhone 8, but I kind of want to get an iPhone 10, which is like a thousand bucks. Um, one, because this phone is really starting to be slow, the battery life is really starting to drain. Um, I, I can't usually, mm, I, I'm, I, at best I can get maybe a day without charging it, but, um, the battery's getting pretty low, it's getting, it's pretty slow itself, um, as well as the storage, the 16 gig storage capacity, which is just absolutely really, really, really too small, so, um, would like to get something a little bit bigger. I've been toying with the idea, so basically when... I think when I was switching to, to an unlocked phone, I was thinking of getting a new phone then. Um, and I was thinking of getting a, of, a, of an Android, but I don't know, I don't really know Android that well. Um, I don't know, I've used my brother's phone sometimes, my mom's phone, it's like, they don't, I don't know, they don't look that great. Um, they're, I'm sure they're fine once you get used to it, but just, I've, I've had an iPhone since, what's first, second year college, so it's like, I just kinda, I've had it for at least six years now, I think, so I'm kinda just used to it and I like it, so. I don't know, maybe, maybe it's a good deal or something, but I don't know. Um, at the, so when I thought about that, I was like, okay, so if I don't, let's say I don't get a phone until I get another full-time job and probably in the IT field. So let's say I start school in September and I finish school in September 2019. And let's say I get a job December, let's just say, let's just say, I, at the worst case, let's say I get a job starting January 2020, let's say. January 2020, and then afterwards, I'll, let's say I buy a new phone 
my birthday in May. So May 2020. So two years from now, I'd have to go with this phone for another two years. And that's just going to be brutal because there's going to be two new iPhones by then. A third one's going to be coming out. Um, right? Yeah. A new one's going to be coming out later in about six months at that point. And it's like, I don't know. So we'll see. I can't really afford it right now because I want to focus my money on school, right? Because I'm, I'm, I'm going to have to pay um, some sort of a student loan back. I don't really know how much it, because again, I don't know if I got a student or a second career, second career or not. Um, but uh, it'll probably be around 10k of a student loan, if anything. Um, but we'll see. Um, but yeah, that's that's the thing. Uh, four things, I guess, I want to talk about total. The the little bump on my face has gone away for the most part. Um, well, it's still there, but it's less so today, which is nice. I got this new pimple here today, which is kind of taking its place. Um, the uh, other thing I want to talk about is we actually, Carla and I actually canceled going to Wonderland tomorrow. Um, she's just got some stuff she she found out she needs to pay for for school. Um, so it's just not really a good time uh, for her to buy her tickets. So um, we're probably just going to go sometime else. Um, we were thinking of getting Fastlane Plus, which lets you ride on all of the rides, including Leviathan Behemoth and the new Lumberjack Jack or something like that, the new one they have. Um, but with that, so basically if we got a, a, a single day pass, fast lane plus, so single day pass I think is 40 bucks. Fast lane plus is I think 64. And then parking we were gonna split, so it would have been $11 each. Uh, with that it came out to like 140 something dollars. Um, and I'm cool with that, I'm, I'm willing to pay that. That is a lot of money, I'm just like, that's kind of a lot of money. Um, but I've wanted to get fast lane my entire life, um, especially last year when we went. It was just long ass lines. So, um, I mean, we don't have to. I, I'm totally cool with not doing that. If if she wanted to go, and we didn't get fast pass. I'm totally cool with that. But I'm also cool with getting fast lane. Um, so I think she also wants to do fast lane as well. So that's why she was like, ah, I will just, we'll just go another day. So postponing that, um, which I don't think it's gonna matter because apparently the forecast is like up until at least mid June. It's gonna be very hot, like mid 30s feels like. So. Um, I think 45 was the highest feels like, or 48 I think was the highest I saw, so it's going to be hot and not a lot of rainy days, so hopefully that continues by the time we get to go to Wonderland. Um, so uh, yeah, that's that's something that we did cancel uh, yesterday. Um, the, the other thing I want to talk about is hockey news. So right now, John Tavares of the New York Islanders is a unrestricted unrestricted free agent. And he is in talks with six teams, the Islanders, the Maple Leafs, the Stars, the Bruins, the Sharks, and the Kings, I think. Um, and basically, I, th I think the, the word on the street is now he's narrowed his team down to three, which is the Islanders, the Leafs, and the Sharks. And this entire week, myself and pretty much any other hockey fan, especially those part of that team that he's potentially picking, we are going insane and I've been like refreshing our hockey and our Leafs reading everything I can about this. I'm just super excited like I can't like I'm it's, it's like I'm waiting for Christmas or something. I'm so excited. Um, he can sign with the Islanders for an eight year deal um, and, the, and the latest he can do that I believe is Saturday at 11.59 p.m. because as soon as the clock strikes midnight and it's Sunday he can only sign up to a seven year deal deal with any of the teams he had in mind. Um, and then um, people are saying that if he doesn't sign with the Islanders by Saturday night, it's pretty much a foregone conclusion that he signs with someone else. Um, and I mean, it's just so exciting, the thought, the thought of a, he was the first round pick, or first overall pick in 2009. He's one of the best hockey players in the world. I believe he's from Oshawa, Mississauga, or I think Stamkos is Mississauga. Um, he's from the Toronto area. He's got his fiance works here. He's got family here. He grew up a Toronto Maple Leafs fan and just every part of my being is like, he's going to be a Leaf. He, he's going to be. He, New York Islanders suck. Yeah, they're doing some retooling. They just hired Lamorell. They just got Barry Trotz and they're finally doing something, you know, nine years or whatever later that he finally got on the team, uh, which I, in, in my opinion, I think everyone, a lot of people have said this, but in my opinion, I'm like, well, it's too little too late. Like I've been here for X amount of years, and you guys had all that time to make a good team around me, and, and now you and now you're trying. Now that I'm leaving. That's no, I'm gone. So <sighs> I'm really hoping. So the soonest, soonest, if he did sign with the Leafs or any other team, the soonest we could find out is Sunday. So I'm hoping I wake up Sunday, check my phone, and the score app says John Tavares has signed with the Maple Leafs because I would just be so happy. So hopefully that happens. 
I am just, like I said, I'm just refreshing this. Honestly, I'm waiting for this week to just go because I, I, I want to find out who he signs with. And I've gotten to the point that if he signs with anyone but the Leafs, I'll be so disappointed. Like if he signs with the Islanders, I'll be pretty upset. If he signs with the Sharks, I'll be pretty upset. If he signs, he, apparently Boston and Tampa are like his fallback options. Now that's what someone said. Um, but if he signs with them, I would be so pissed because Boston, come on, that's the worst. You, you have a Toronto fan, you know. Um, and then, well, I guess Boston has only become a rival since he was in the league, but I don't know. But and then Tampa, it's like, I don't, I don't know, man. I just want him to become a, a Leaf. I really hope he does. We would just be unreal. I would be so hyped. Oh my God, I'm just so excited. Hopefully he signs, but uh, those are topics for today. Uh, I'm gonna go back to play, playing So wow, I, I really don't wanna do Zoldazar. That's the only reason I don't wanna play beta is because of Zoldazar. Uh, I don't know what to do. I don't know how to fi figure out the best path, but. I'll try to work on it. But anyway, that's topics for today. I will see you in the future. See ya.